What's up, people? Um, I've been trying to make a video now for a while, and um, I know it's been a while. But I decided to just do a couple topics and kind of cram them into one video because I've been having major um, technical difficulties, and I um, had to record on my phone because my computer is, like, acting crazy. So, um... That being said, let's get into it. I um, wanted to talk about this book called Walking Among Us by David Jacob. Um, he was a professor, a history professor at Temple University. And um, ironically, at the time I attended there, if I'm not mistaken, way back when. And um, he's from PA. He lived in Philly. He, but um, he regressed a bunch of abductees and this was basically in the 90s and what he found out was that um, the missing time that they have you know he regressed them and got them to recall these memories and they were being abducted and not only were their eggs and sperm harvested to make these alien hybrids, but they were also um, used to assimilate these beings that now look exactly like us into society. And so, just give me one second. I got to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I had to record from my phone. Okay, there we go. So anyway, um, these beings were, or well, these people actually, who were multi-generational abductees, were being forced to, um, while they should have been asleep, <laughs> you know, you get your eight hours at night before you go to work, they were just regular people. They were being forced to um, train these hybrids to be a human what do we eat how do we act what do we do when we go to school what do we order for lunch um you know how do we interact with our family members uh how do you go into a store and buy groceries you guys get the picture how do you go into a wawa and order a sandwich literally this was right in PA, right where I live. Well, I'm in, I'm in Philly, but this was right uh, around the Reading area, all over PA. Um, these were the people that he was interviewing because, again, he was a Temple University professor, which is where I went to school, which is where my daughter goes to school now. Um, just a history professor that somehow got into um, regression, doing regression on people. And, um, you know, he came to very disturbing terms. Now, here's the thing. This guy kind of did this on the fly by accident. It just, he kind of came into this information. These other people out there who are preaching the alien hybrid program, who are pushing it, who are saying it's a good thing, um, who are saying that these beings lost their ability to reproduce and that's why they need our genetic materials. That's bullshit. That is straight bullshit. Okay. In my opinion, in my humble opinion, this channel is for educational purposes only and uh, entertainment purposes only. Whatever the fuck I'm supposed to say. But you guys get it, like, um, this is a scary kind of a thing, um, because they're already living, I mean, this, again, this was back in the 90s, and they were, they told him that they looked exactly like us, you'd never be able to tell the difference, at least most people can, it depends on where you are, um, I do believe certain people can tell, um, that have specific abilities training or have opened up their abilities so um you know 
it's a way of sort of integrating into society you know how do you kind of like take a society over from the inside out right so i don't know about the whole project blue beam thing now because then you know there's so many questions if you stand down because you're like oh this is all fake alien invasion well how do you know that's not a psyop too look if you guys know me you know i was into all kind of crazy psyops i was on the trump and q train i mean listen jumped off that train um realized it was all just to divide us so they can conquer us now listen i don't make light at all about what this place is i do not try to sugarcoat it in any way shape or form if you know me you also know that a lot of people you know kind of just fell out of my life for this reason you know i'm a big soul trap gal i do believe heavily in the soul trap i believe this is a very real thing i don't believe that we should be promoting going into the white light um because this is how they keep us recycled here this is uh uh what my friend tony sayers calls the soul trick instead of the soul trap because it does kind of change things a little bit with the wording because then you know that you, there's there's definitely a way out once you get to a certain level of knowledge um i recently had an issue where um someone who was a friend of mine uh, more of an acquaintance, but, you know, a friend. I hung out with them, you know, at parties and stuff and on these conferences. And I noticed more than a year ago that he was shutting people down whenever they tried to ask him about the soul trap. Well, what about the soul trap? Because he's a big promoter of going into the light because he had an NDE and he saw his relatives and that's their MO. It's AI. It's not your dead relatives. It's either AI or demons. They can shapeshift and be whatever they want to be. Do you understand that? They can do whatever they want. Um, they can show you your dead grandmother. And of course they know you. And of course they know exactly what your grandmother would say to you. So, you know, you can ask them to show their true form if you suspect that something's amiss. And they probably have to based on some of the universal laws and whatever. Um, but anyway, I digress. So I noticed that he was shutting people down. Um, and then I talk, tried to talk to him about it at a party with a kitchen full of people. And he shut me down too. And back then I had just come upon the information and started to take on these beliefs. And um, like he wouldn't even let you get a word in. Right. So anyway, um, still my, he was still my friend on Facebook. And I someone posted... A meme it was great it was awesome it was two machine elves if you guys know what machine elves are they're the you know little guys that tell you oh you got to come back you have work to do whatever whatever you know you got to go back for your your grandmother's now going to be your granddaughter you need to go back because unresolved stuff whatever whatever it is to get you to recycle back that's what a machine elf is it's you know, not necessarily a demon, but nefarious beings, shapeshifters, whatever. So a machine elf can be a mul multitude of things. But they're the pushers of the matrix. They're the pushers of they get you to come back here to power up the system using your louche. If you don't know what louche is, you should find out. So anyway, um, someone posted a really funny meme with two machine elves saying come into the light you're you know your dead grandmother's here it was something like that it was really funny and i loved it and i reposted it but on the original post the person who posted it just let everyone go at it and argue didn't say a word which i thought was great you know um but i of course commented and said you know i love this thank you i'm going to share it whatever and i just got you know I had the people who agreed, there were people who agreed, and then there were people who were arguing against it. And one of the people, this woman, who was friends with a lot of friends of mine, 
Now listen, I have my close friends that are still kind of into things that I'm not anymore. But they're still my friends because if you can't allow people to grow the way that they're growing or allow them to walk their own path, even if they never agree with you, then they shouldn't be in your life. And I don't do that to my friends. I allow them to, the galactics are coming to save us. We're all, you know, all aliens are good, all that. And yet, yeah, no, I don't believe that. But I have friends that do. And again, I don't criticize. So this woman said something like, but, you know, da, da, da. and I said, well, look, you'd like to know more about it. You know, it's 100% it's true, the soul trap. And then, you, could, you know, just inbox me. And because she was, again, I, I went away on a trip and I didn't even talk to this person. Because I'm not the person that's going to go around and introduce myself to everyone. If I, you're meant to be in my life and interact with me, then that will kind of happen naturally i don't push myself on every single person i'm not the person that goes up to everyone and you know i feel like i met the people i was supposed to meet and and whatever and and so anyway she was in the same circles as i was and um even though you know again the beliefs are are changing but not everything that I, you know, heard at these conferences still to date is, I resonate with some of it. It's not, you know, anyway, so I said, you know, you can inbox me if you'd really like to find out. And she just was hitting me with, because the person who I told you, the man who's the promoter of the ND, um, going to the light guy, he's arguing with me and I'm kind of ignoring him because I already know what type of time he's on. So I'm just basically kind of really tuning him out. I said a few things, but but I, she like came at me with basically like, this is what she said without saying it. Who are you and what, on what authority do you have to like, how dare you have this opinion? Because this person, he's got a big following on YouTube and he's been doing this for years and how dare you question him, okay? And the funny thing about it was the post was pro my own beliefs. So, it's really funny. Anyway, the original poster was pro my beliefs. So, you know, and I basically hit her with, and this is true, I've been doing this for a very long time. I've done it all. Reiki master, energetic interference remover. <laughs> I've done it all, okay? medium you know removed um a being that was kind of created a thought thought form being created through witchcraft um which was very scary and i just kind of went in feet first and jumped into that and i was able to remove it and and so <clears throat> I've been doing this for a really long time. Um, I don't have this big following. I don't have a million YouTube subscribers. I don't, you know, I, I just think a little bit differently than most people do. But I do have a lot to say, and so here I am. But, so anyway, you know, she came back at me with the, oh, why'd you have to give me your whole history? And I'm just like, well, you were questioning, right, my beliefs and my authority. Who am I? So I said to her, even if that weren't the case and I was not involved um, with the new age, with all the stuff in the past, um, and I was just came on this information yesterday, I still have an opinion and my opinion is my own. You do you, honey, and I'll do me. You know, and it was like she was acting like I was attacking her. It was so bizarre. So I just kind of put myself right out of the, um, got right out of that situation. The guy was rambling and passively aggressing, continually passive aggressively posting about me. So, you know, it's just, it's so ridiculous. And I'm, and I'm even sorry I did this, but I just posted like, this is what I believe. If you don't like it, like in bullet points, hit the delete button. 
because I'm not changing. And that's it. Period. End of story. I believe in the soul trap. Um, and I believe we're being used for Lush. I believe this is a simulation and I believe what we're, that uh, we're being used uh, for our energy to power up the system. That's why it's so chaotic and that's why our bodies break down and which I want to get into next, by the way. Um, so all that being said, um, I, I didn't unfriend these people because um, I don't care what your beliefs are. You understand? When I say I love everyone, I really mean it. And, you know, this person, I don't like the way he treats people um, that disagree with him. I think it's wrong. And everyone should be entitled to their opinions. But, you know, I did, I, I love the guy. You know, he's a funny guy. He's a great guy. And I had nothing against him. But it was like all these passive aggressive posts about me. And then I answered him like one last time. And I, I hit him with the, you know, <laughs> I brought out the big guns, um, and it wasn't pretty. And then I then I did unfriend him, and I believe the girl unfriended me. Who gives a crap? Okay, I don't even care. Yes, this isn't someone that I just knew from social media. You know, I actually met these people in person, but whatever. Um, the girl was at my Airbnb, but I don't even think I don't even know that I was introduced to her, but. Um, you know, and I, and I got a little angry for a little hot minute and it was over. And, but I do still mean that I, I do care about other people's beliefs in that I allow people to have them. So now let's talk about our bodies, our bodies. What are our bodies? Um, so we are software. That's how you have to look at us. We're, we're basically like advanced software. Um, and they took our true essence, our consciousness. I don't believe the soul is part of that. I believe the soul and consciousness are two completely different things. That's just me. I know some people believe the soul is consciousness. I don't. I think the soul is part of the matrix because I think that's where they mess with us. It's all that, um, the subconscious, the soul, I think that's where they're coming in and interfering with us, right? There's always entities there. There's always interference. Some more than others, there's always something going on. It, that's why you, you can't quiet your mind, really. You know, it's really hard. But your consciousness is something completely different. Your consciousness, your pure essence, you know, that is the real you. And that's what they don't want you to know. So, my friend Tony just did a video about the body and what it really is. Now, first I want to say, I want to talk a little bit about astrology. So, when I did the, whatever the hell I did, I did some kind of um, cocktail when I was in New Mexico with my shaman class. Because I did that too, <laughs> um, which is all bullshit, by the way. And I, I did... A cocktail of I don't know like DMT ayahuasca I don't know it was a cocktail I can't remember I know there's a name for it and I did it with the medicine woman with a shaman in and microdosed and then full dose and I kept seeing over and over and over again um, the astrological wheel with all the zodiac signs on it over and over and over again i could not understand for the life of me why i kept seeing this i a hundred percent you know because i asked i, I kind of like just what is this reality i am not that person like yes i do believe that we're we're born on a certain day under a certain sun under a certain moon sign and that is us. That is our programming. That's the computer programming I'm talking about. You're hardwired with a certain set of, you know, that's why you, you can't help to do, but do certain things. Because this is how you're hardwired. It goes by the day you were born and we're all hardwired, right? So, um, 
at the time I didn't know it, but that's why I was saying astrological wheel. Because I've been watching this decode your reality guy and he's speaking a lot of truth um, about what we really are and what this reality really is. And it has everything to do with those zodiac signs. But the day that we were born, everything, all of it is one. Okay, so that begs the question, what were we created by? Who were we created by? Uh, not God. Not the God as you know it, as you think of. Not you know, I'm thinking all of this is a simulation. It was all created probably by the Demiurge. Um, there's a passage from Gnosticism from the book of John, I believe, that I wanted to read. But, of course, my computer's not working. So, and all the information is put on my phone. And I wanted to read it about how we were created. Um by these demonic archonic beings, by the archons. Um, I don't want to talk too much about that because I know it's going to trigger a lot of people. But um, I am not saying that your consciousness is are these things. You're not of that. You're you're not really your consciousness is not of this world. Do you understand? So there's nothing to be upset about. Because your consciousness, they wish they had the divine consciousness that we have. Don't you understand? That's why they fucking hate us. <laughs> because your consciousness is the divinity in you. Your consciousness is the real you. Okay? And it was forced and imprisoned in this body. And let's talk about the body. Does the body suck? It fucking does. You know why? Because... It gets old and it suffers and it gets diseases and it's horrific and it's awful and we die. Now, if you accept that and say, yes, this is not. Um, and then know that they're using you for louche, knowing that, you know, they're pushing the love, hate, fear, love thing all the time and keeping things chaotic. I think that we should all remain although probably boring for most people, neutral. You know, just be neutral. When you're neutral, they can't get these emotions from you, the power of this fucked up system. They can't do it. Stay neutral, people. Stay neutral. I care for elderly people, okay? A lot of them in since around 2017. Uh, some of them passed. A lot of them passed. And, you know, I had to watch them lose their dignity, um, you know, have somebody change their diapers, wash their ass, uh, just horrible, um, not be able to walk. They went from being the most independent people. Some of them still had all their marbles, which was probably worse than the ones with the dementia, which is also awful. I also think um, we need to really, and I'm not saying don't take care of your body. Absolutely, you should. You know, I think they want people, you know, this with the vaccines and everything. Should I say, you know, the jibbity jabs, you know, the jibbity jabs that help us. Um, <laughs> they want us to get them because I think the jibbity jabbity Jews and not talking about the, the C jibbity jab. I'm talking about all of them cause Alzheimer's and cancers and to make us suffer more, right? So you got to suffer more because that provides copious amounts of luge. So people who die slowly, which most people do, if you think about it, provide copious amounts of luge that power up the system, okay? So if you want to go slide down a rainbow and fly away on a unicorn and think that this is all love and light and we just have to think positive and think love and light and everything's going to be perfect and wonderful and Trump's going to save us all, you go right ahead. But that would just be hogwash to me. 